Well, um, the, what about this pill combination? Because yeah. this <clears throat> this sounds incredible. This could decrease heart disease. Yeah, I mean, th th this is it's very reassuring for me. Uh, a, a team of scientists um, took a group of 440 um, healthy people aged 70 and over and gave one group a combination of two supplements, not drugs. You can buy these over the counter. They gave them um, what's called coenzyme Q10. Which is in face creams. Well, oh yeah, it, they're putting it in everything now. But, yeah. And I, I explain why. So you've got Q10 and then selenium. Now, this actually reassured me because I take these products, right? Now, the, the um, Q Q10 is used by every cell in your body to produce energy. Right, and uh, they the, have an energy factory called mitochondria. Now, uh, for example, the heart muscle never rests, never stops. So the energy in the heart is extremely important. So Q10 is very important for the heart. And they found that patients who have heart failure have low levels of Q10. Mm -hmm. They've taken biopsies of heart muscle. And they found low levels of Q10. And selenium is is, is used in traces uh, in the body in many different bodily it's functions. Found in the soil, isn't it? Yeah. Now that that, that would be our main source of selenium from crops. However, crops are grown on soil now that's drained of selenium, right? Especially in in, in European countries. And why? in fact, in in what, sorry. Why 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 is it why is it drained? Well, it's, it's not being put back into the soil because oh, the see. crops are using it. So oh, I see. It, it, Finland in 1985 ordered that selenium be put into fertilizers, enriched fertilizers. And once they did that, cardiovascular disease went down in Finland. That's incredible. Yeah, it is. So what they found that the patients who were, took the active treatment, the other group were given dummy tablets, mm. placebo, and they found that those on the active treatment right, had 50% less risk of death from heart disease. Wow. Now that is huge. Well, That's incredible. Jeremy Pearson, who's the Associate Medical Director of the British Heart Foundation, said the results will need to be confirmed in larger sure. studies before they can be recommended to patients. I was reading something the other day that, uh, that said that if you take a sudden uh, amount of, of, of a vitamin or a supplement uh, and the, your body's not used to that. So, so it, it, there were a number of things that they said, right, okay, you'll take a thousand milligrams of something, um, that your body should have that over a long period of time. Sure. There it yeah. is, daily vitamin pills can increase your risk of disease. But if yeah. you take something and suddenly you're taking a thousand milligrams of something that should be over a prolonged period, then yeah. it's not good for you. Exactly, Look, everything in moderation, right? And um, the, the, the situation w w with supplements, I take some supplements, but I always check the research before I take them, see which ones are the highest quality yeah. and which are more available to your body. I mean, mm. and, and this is the brand that I take. This is the brand used in the study. Well, there are lots of other brands as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we're not necessarily recommending. This oh no, no, not at all. They all no. do the same sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um,